happy and healthy morning children this is your geeta rani ma'am english teacher let us to begin your syllabus children this time you have total 3 books the first one is honey circle where do you get lessons and poems and the second one is a packed with the sun supplementary reader here you get beautiful stories and the third one is grammar and composition where you will improve your knowledge children let us to begin your syllabus with honey circle the first lesson before i could begin the first lesson let me to clear that you have to make two notebooks one notebook of 200 pages for exercise that you get in honey circle and supplementary reader and one more notebook of 100 pages for your grammar i think about your class works now you may don't have any doubts let us to begin your first lesson that is who did patrick's homework children how many of do you like homework to do some of you isn't it yeah right and how many of do you get help from your family member while doing homework i think most of you yeah absolute and how many of you don't like homework okay no answer okay no problem here in this lesson you are going to study about a boy called patrick who don't like homework at all and what happened to him let us to learn patrick never did homework too boring he said he played hockey and basketball and nintendo instead his teachers told him patrick do your homework or you won't learn a thing and it's true sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus but what could he do he hated homework now let me to explain patrick never did homework because him homework in a sense it is too boring and instead of doing his homework he used to play hockey basketball and nintendo nintendo in the sense it is a kind of video game most of the times his teachers used to tell him to do his homework to complete his homework until he won't learn a thing because teachers will give homework on the basis of their syllabus or on the basis of the lesson they teach and sometime he behave like ignorant person about his education about his homework but what he can do he hated homework a lot then one day he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away to it to his surprise it wasn't a doll at all but a man of tiniest size he had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches and a high tall hat much like a witch's he ailed save me don't give me back to the cat i will grant you a wish i promise you that so now a small turn in patrick's life that is one day patrick found that his cat is playing with a little doll soon after seeing that patrick grabbed it patrick took that doll and for his surprise it wasn't a doll it was a man with tiniest size tiniest small in size and that doll that tiniest man he had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches breeches in the sense short trousers he was wearing and a tall hat you can see in the picture the tiniest man is wearing a tall hat 
it looked like a witches witches in the sense a kind of a ghost which we can get in some of the pictures he ate he shouted save me don't give me back to the cat unless cat will eat me and i will grant you a wish if you save me i will grant you a wish and i'll promise it patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was here was the answer to all his questions all his problems so he said only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester that's 35 days if you do a good enough job i could even get a's then patrick he was unbelievable and he said himself how lucky am i then he said to that man okay i don't give you back to the cat but as you said you will fulfill my wish and my wish is you have to do all my homework till the end of my semester and he had 35 days more to complete his first semester and he said if you do all my homework i will get a grade the little man's face wrinkled like a dish cloth thrown in the hamper he kicked his legs and doubled his fists and he grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips oh am i cursed but i'll do it so soon after hearing the wish of a patrick the little man's face wrinkled it got a lines on his face wrinkled in the sense getting wrinkles lines like a dish cloth dish cloth it is a kind of cloth which is used to wash dishes then he kicked his legs and doubled his fists and he grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips his face had all these expressions showing disgust anger and disapproval actually that short man we can call him as elf elf in the sense fairy who is quite mischievous mischievous naughty so that elf he shown his disapproval but though he was not ready to do all these things he has to because he promised patrick so here as he promised patrick he started to do his homework but what problems he faced while doing patrick's homework let us to know and true to his word that little elf began to do patrick's homework except there was one glitch the elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help help me help me he would say and patrick would have to help in whatever way i don't know this word the elf squeaked while reading patrick's homework get me a dictionary no what's even better look up the word and sound it out by each letter so as the elf promised patrick he started to do patrick's homework but there was a problem glitch in the sense problem the elf didn't know and the elf didn't know what to do so he always asked help from patrick help me help me and patrick has to help in all the ways whichever the elf used to ask so here elf he used to to say i don't know this word and he asked patrick to read his homework and get a dictionary that he can come to know the meaning of the word soon after saying that the elf said no more than bringing dictionary it is much better if you read 
each and every letter louder when it came to maths patrick was out of luck what are time tables the elf shrieked we elves never need that and addition and subtraction and division and fractions here sit down beside me you simply must guide me elves know nothing of human history to them it is a mystery so the little elf already a shouter just got louder go to the library i need books more and more books and you can help me read them too so however here patrick started to help the elf but when it is the homework given by maths teacher patrick was out of luck because that elf was unknown of all these time signed tables and he said we elves never need all these things especially these addition subtraction division and fractions elf clearly said to patrick to sit down beside me and simply and must guide me because for elves human history in the sense it is a mystery mystery in the sense which is a th- which is known or which is nothing nothing in the sense where we can say that they know nothing about humans so human in the sense it is a mystery to them so the little elf he used to shout every time that he did patrick's homework but now the shouting it got louder and he said in a loud voice go to the library i need books more and more books and patrick has to help him in reading those books as a matter of fact every day in every way that a little elf was a nag patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag he was staying up nights had never felt so weary was going to school with his eyes puffed and blurry then here elf started to take help from patrick to complete his homework so here patrick has to help at any condition to get a grade for his homework so every day patrick started to help to elf and he started to work even late night too so patrick he started to go to school with his eyes puffed and blurry puffed eyes in the sense children if you to wake up till late night your eyes too will get puffed blown and blurry eyes drowsy you will start to feel drowsy in the sense you will feel that you will sleep now in that we sometimes while sitting you will start to close your eyes for that we can call as a drowsiness so here finally the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go as for homework there was no more so he quietly and slowly slipped out the back door so however those 35 days got over the last day of school arrived and now the elf is free to go as for homework nothing at all homework everything the elf completed so he quietly slowly slipped out from the back door patrick got his a his classmates were amazed his teachers smiled and were full of praise and his parents they wondered what had happened to patrick he was now the model kid cleaned his room did his chores was cheerful never rude like he had developed a whole new attitude so finally patrick submitted his homework and he got a grade for his homework 
by seeing patrick's complete homework his classmates were amazed ha huh? what happened how patrick completed all his homework a boy who never like to do his homework now his homework is complete and got a grade his classmates were amazed his teachers smiled and were full of praise they smiled they were happy with patrick and his work and they started to praise patrick that he did excellent work and what about his parent they wondered what happened to patrick and now patrick is a model kid to each and every one because a boy who never ever did his homework who don't like homework have completed all his work and got a grade so everyone were wondered now he used to do clean his room he did all his chores was cheerful happy and he never ever behaved rude like in these ways he developed his attitude you see in the end patrick still thought he would made that tiny man do all his homework but i'll share a secret just between you and me it wasn't the elf patrick had done it himself have you seen children at the end how patrick have changed now here the writer would like to share a secret with us and that secret is you came to know that patrick have completed all his homework actually do you know that that homework is not completed by elf yes it is completed by patrick himself can you tell me how yeah exactly he helped elf patrick helped elf while doing homework so by indirect way patrick did he completed his homework instead of elf so here your lesson ends children if you get any doubts you can call me and you can send me messages soon you will get question and answers thank you good day